panthers, black mambas, and king cobras. These and many other snakes are kept at the Kenya Snake Bite Research and Intervention Center for their venom. Working with the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, the mission is to harvest the venom needed to produce the next generation of antidotes for snake bite victims. An estimated 4,000 people die from snake bites in Kenya every year. As a result of human population, yeah, we are causing adverse effect on their habitat, like forest destruction, and eventually we are having snakes coming into our homes, primarily to seek water or food, and eventually we have uh, the conflict between a uh, human and the snake. So we are seeing that uh, climate change is also affecting them a lot because when uh, there is no rain for quite a number of time, snakes are forced to seek for alternative sources of water whereby they seek to human uh, settlement or habitat to seek for water. It's black inside the mouth. Some 20,000 people are bitten by snakes every year in Kenya and yet the country does not produce any anti-venom locally. Kenya imports anti-venom from Mexico and India. Even worse, 50% of the imports barely work. Anti-venoms are mostly region-specific, meaning those produced in one region might not effectively treat snake bites in a different region. The research by the Kenya Center aims to enhance the efficacy and availability of anti-venoms and decrease the number of vials needed per patient at a more affordable price.